It's the NFL on EA Sports. And up next, we'll see Aaron Jones. He really helped drive them a week ago with a three-touchdown game. It's the Colts and the Lions on EA Sports. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today, our coverage kicks off with a good one here between the Indianapolis Colts and the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They're losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion. It's been a tradition since the early days of the NFL, and we're off on Thanksgiving Day in Detroit. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And they'll be let out by their quarterback now in his third season in the league. Now the meeting we had with him this week, that's one of the briefer ones we've ever had, isn't it? <laughs> he wasn't too happy after last week. Not happy. Really determined to play a whole lot better, and he really can't play a whole lot worse. He's got to go out and show the team that the goods that he exhibited early are still there. Otherwise, he could lose the confidence that they have in him. Yeah, hoping to get rid of that interception bug. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Birdie will set up to throw it here. He'll get this to Eckler. And he's going to be taken down about a yard shy of the first at the 29. Birdie on fourth down. And he's brought down. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right? The social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Yeah. Because I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe some explanations. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Second down, it's Jones. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Mahomes on third. This one swung out here to Jones. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Jones diving for the end zone and he'll get there. Touchdown. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And this is good to make it 7-0 Indy. 
So that drive, four plays. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they, almost to a man, told us how excited they are to be playing in this traditional Thanksgiving game. But we have to remember, this is a team that lost on Sunday. Now they get a very quick turnaround to play again. How difficult is that to do? It's difficult under any normal circumstance when you're coming off of a loss and you have a quick turnaround. The first thing is to put the loss behind you and move forward. But when you play on Thanksgiving Day, everyone's watching you. It's an added bonus, though, because now you put the loss behind you. Get that taste out of your mouth because the taste you want is victory, turkey, and pumpkin pie. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. The Lions had a woeful 2-9 on the year. Yeah, they were losers last time out trying to turn things around here in this one. And it always helps to have a home crowd behind you giving you encouragement as long as you give them something good to cheer about. So you know they just want to come out and play well for their faithful and I expect them to do just that. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out. He made a really nice play. That's the first catch of the game for Goodwin. It's a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it. Occasionally, you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. Play action. Now Purdy. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. He able to knock that one away. And he is going to have a Lions first down. It's out of the pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch them? Absolutely. You know? And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And yeah. just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Purdy with it on third and long. And that is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Gano's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing is seven to three. So they are able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Well, Charles, this Thanksgiving tradition is so great. I mean, going back essentially... 
through the full century of the NFL. I know you probably have a lot of fond memories of Thanksgiving Day football yourself. I certainly do, and I don't have the turkey bowl tradition. You know, the families that go out and play and they come in and sit down to their feast and watch football. I remember reading about, remember the Lions jumping on the Packers on Thanksgiving Day, the only loss the Packers had in 1962, and they sat Bart Starr over 10 times in that game, and I remember Dave Williams from the Bears returning the overtime kickoff for a touchdown to win a game on Thanksgiving Day. I remember so many different things happening, but how much fun is it each and every year to know that you've got football on Thanksgiving Day? And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. That's about what you would expect since they're so efficient on picking up third downs in the top five in the NFL. It's all a mindset, and I'm guaranteeing it started in the offseason. Third down's important to them. They find a way to pick him up in a very good clip. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Mahomes going to throw. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pick up a 3. One back in the game. That's Jones, second and goal. Now here's Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Alan Lazard with touchdown number seven on the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, yeah, I give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. And he'll just take a seat in the drive when we get at the 25-yard line. Time for another look at this Lions offense. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend. But you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back out there. You don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players. Guys, you make plays in this one, we out execute them, we can walk away with a win. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. After one, a 14-3 ball game. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. more here's Eckler and he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48 that one a first down pickup of eight even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest the Colts are gonna get him down he goes like a freight train there Derek Nottie with a sack are you seeing what I'm seeing? That's three sacks now. And this team came into the game in the bottom five in the league in sacks. Yeah, this What's is going not, on? It's not been their bread and butter. I don't know. Is a blind squirrel finding a nut, or is this something they can build on? Well, they found some momentum. They found a crack in that offensive line, and they're putting it to good use. 
Now a throw here to his running back. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And they'll use him out in the backfield, and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And a loose football! Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. On first down, it's Purdy. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted, a loss of a full six yards. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. That's to his running back, complete. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Colts are going to take over with a football. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three, because remember, Charles, drives one and two, but it ended in the end zone. Yeah, right now, they just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence, because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Third down, here's Jones. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Sometimes that's a danger, putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies masked in one location. You can wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to run the football. Six-yard return after a punt of 48. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. To throw again on second down. Purdy, and that's complete to Marshall on the crossing route. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That'll go as a pickup of eight. But it certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there and a line first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Man open. It's good one. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. <laughs> Purdy 
he sets up to throw again. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. He's throwing here, Purdy. Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Andrew Booth picks it off. And the Colts are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Unfortunately for him, if last week was any indication, we knew a pick was coming at some point. Last week, it was interception after interception, and here we go again. We actually quit counting last week at a certain point because I thought I was going to run out of fingers, all right, because I'm not all that skilled as a mathematician. But you're right, it felt like a matter of time, and you got to think the guys on defense, they could wait for this opportunity after what they saw on the team. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll go again to Jones. Room here to run. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 49 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him. And let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. And we're going to get another timeout called by the Lions. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. And inside give to Jones. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. The Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with that, they're now out of timeouts. There's still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. On third and long, it's Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up forward. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game, watching this offensive line, because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Purdy. A rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And he will bring it back. An interception. TD. Butker now to add the extra point. And it's 21 to 3. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So here come the Lions now. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, so you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. This 
defense three interceptions now. And Charles, obviously, that one for the pick six. That gives them a three-possession lead, and they are really in the driver's seat. Makes you imagine that that lead could become with another half of football left to play because the way they're getting after a partner, 30 points, 40 points, even 50 points, that type of a lead, not out of the question. And neither is another pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt offense set to take over now remember they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around and sometimes partner i think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field you're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long you're not hearing everyone say oh, hey you'll get them next time hey don't worry about it all that stuff just goes right out the window you're right back out on the field with a chance to atone now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. The cross throw taken in by Adams. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Now a first down throw, gone. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. On first down, gone. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. A 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Here we go on four. Gone. And this one is incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Colts are going to take over with a football. And that makes them now 0 for 3 on fourth down attempts. A lot of people would say they're showing a lot of guts going for it this many times on fourth down. I think they'd have to start thinking with their head a little bit more than with their gut and their emotions because it's not working for them. They've got to figure out what's been going wrong. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. So we're at halftime here on the annual Thanksgiving game in Detroit as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And a happy... Past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. So here are the Colts to take over. They were losers a week ago to Tennessee, but they're on top right now as they come up here first and ten. I don't miss you. I don't miss you. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think he might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield. And almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A five-yard pickup on the play. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's going to let this one go deep. And that's caught inside. 
inside the 35. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. Frankly, I don't know that this defense knows what to do anymore. Just look at their body language out there. The passing game has absolutely been relentless throughout. Mahomes firing complete, and he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. From the 28, it's second and five. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. A quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Throwing now is Mahomes. Able to find Lazard. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whatever the discussions were at that time to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On the delay, Jones. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 68 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Now Jones. And he will maneuver his way down to about the 7. The line of scrimmage, the 7 now on second and goal. Again, it's Jones. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he takes it in for a cold score. Aaron Jones, his 11th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Colts take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Butker on for the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Gone. That's to Marshall on the quick slant. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. 
A lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. To throw is gone. And he hits on the slant route to Marshall. And they'll get him down at about the 37. Well short of the first. On fourth down. Gone. And Marshall's got it. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And the... Take possession here. It's a touchback. win seven games unfortunately with this loss they can't do it so now to be interesting to see how they respond as a team because sometimes when you set goals if you don't achieve them you don't care anymore you let everything else go i want to see if they're going to continue to fight scratch claw do whatever to try and get as many wins as possible even if it doesn't reach their stated number 